Makes it way better, right? Makes us way more calculated. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple problem areas, all right? And there's a couple more things on the, on the leg defense that, that we'll do, but I want to talk about a couple problem areas too. But let's talk about power half, all right? Because power half is one of those tricky things that, like, you know, it's kind of like leg, leg defense. Best leg defense, don't let legs in, right? I get it. All right, best power half defense, don't let a guy get power half on you. I mean, guys that are good with power halves, get out to the elbow and start stretching us out, it's, it's bad news. All right, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you a couple options here. All right, so we're getting to this position right here, strong position. If this guy goes power half before I go to hip smash strong position, all right, what I wanna do with my left elbow, because the minute he gets here, it's a wrap, I'm gone, okay? I, I, it's gonna be real tough for me to recover from this. So what we're gonna do, he starts power half cranking me in my base. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep my, keep my elbow tight, but I'm also gonna step my free leg up to reinforce my elbow. See how I'm kind of pushing my elbow in with my knee right here? Then, stand your power half. Then when I get there, I'm gonna come back to strong position. All right, when I get to strong position right here. When I get to strong position, I'm still hiding my elbow with my knee, and then I'm focused on working the legs out but I'm keeping this elbow tight. Now, once I get this bottom leg out and I start getting my hips away, this power half isn't as effective. Even if he cranks the power half now, I'm just swimming because he has no control over my hips, all right? I really think that if we stay here and try to just push back in strong position without that knee reinforcing my elbow, we get ourselves in, in, a, in a decent bit of trouble. So this is what I'm talking about. He try, starts cranking that power half in my base and I just try to push back to strong position. That momentum, yeah. That momentum is gonna get me, okay? I'm, I'm almost creating a better situation by pushing back, all right? So I like this knee, this kind of knee reinforced thing. Um, there's a little wiggle swim when a guy's cranking a power half in my base. But I really, I mean, it's one of those things you got to have super flexible shoulders to be able to turn your hips and swim off, all right? But he's going to get in this, this uh, leg ride. I'm still blocking. He goes power half. I step up and reinforce my elbow with my knee. And I keep it trapped as I pressure back to strong position. This is the foot I'm worried about right now. Okay, so I block my elbow, I keep hips low, and as soon as I get to my kickstand strong position, foot comes out, okay? Because if he still keeps cranking and he gets me about right here, I'm in trouble, okay? So again, once I get here elbow tight, hidden by my knee, I put the foot out and I block. Now if he does continue to beat me with the, with the power half, I at least have my hips free, okay? I at least have my hips free. I can swim towards the head, run out of his lap, start wrestling that position. Now, I don't necessarily have to swim for the head. I can scoop my hips away and get skinny and try to turn the face. All right, and stretch his power half out. All right, I like, I, I feel pretty confident swimming the head right there. All right, so one more time. I'm blocking, power half comes in my base. All right, I step up outside knee to reinforce my elbow. Notice my chest is low, hips are low, and I'm pushing my elbow in with my knee. It's not just, I'm putting it there for looks. I'm, I'm trapping my own elbow. I'm pressuring back, strong position, immediately attack this foot, okay? This is what, because when he power halves, think about the mechanics of a power half. He's taking my chest, my head, and my shoulders away as he anchors my hips with his leg. So if I see that, his leg is taking my hips and anchoring them down there and he's stretching my body out. So if I get here and I'm blocking my elbow and he can't stretch for a couple seconds and I put him out and block, there's no, no way he can anchor my hips. And I can get here and scoot down, right? I don't feel as good here as if I do, just getting a little separation and then a big swim to the head. All right, big swim to the head. One thing I do have to worry about though is if that top side boot does come in right here, I gotta attack it, okay? And if, I, and if I get this position, power half, I don't take it to his head, right? Not a good idea. I would just probably throw it out and then scoot and attack the head, rotate out of the lap. Just get away from his lap, okay? Play in there, go.